This video covers Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8.0.194 and all the features and uh, add ons since uh, the last video, 0 .180. I've done some minor, a little bunch of minor little fixes here and there. Uh, one was that I, you can now minimize uh, Power SDR if you want to send the spectrum to N1MM in the, the uh, setup user interface right here you activate this feature and on my web page I explain how to set this up to see the spectrum on N1MM directly and then you can leave uh, power SDR minimized now also the spots here if you're in the CW portion they'll be directly over the CW signal they won't be offset by the pitch the uh, next thing I've added was I fixed the gray line a certain portion of the year the the uh, dusk area and the dark area were got kind of uh, a little off, a little glitchy uh, at certain times of year, and that's that's fixed now. The next one was the scanner. Uh, normally these go to band edges, so if I change the band, this will just follow the band edges between bands. And uh, now if you go in and you you know if you want to um, override that. It will save it, not just not just temporary. But you turn Power SDR off, uh, come turn it back on. It'll actually remember this. It re records this in the database, and you can reset any band back by hitting the Edge Reset Band uh, button to reset it back to the normal band limits. The I also fixed in the SWR scan when it's doing a really fast scan. Sometimes it could get glitchy and get a really high SWR in the middle of low low SWR patches so now it resamples a little bit so to eliminate some of the glitches in uh, when you're doing a band scan for for SWR the uh, next feature was on FM uh, normally you have your CT CSS tones and there's an additional one the 1750 uh, some repeaters need this this one to get access to it so I've added that and that's part of the FM. The next one, uh, I've added a couple of additional voice cues in addition to the reply and the CQ buttons. To make the recordings, you go into the wave. Uh, the, here's where you make the recordings. If you hold your mouse over them, it'll explain. Usually, you hold your mouse over most things, it'll explain. Uh, it'll give you some tool tips about what they are and how to, how to use them. But this is where you make your recordings. And this is where you'd play them. And uh, I now added function keys as well. So this is F3, F4, F5, F6. That 1750 button for FM is F7. Uh, but only when Power SDR is in focus, because like the CW panel itself has function keys for the macros. So you want to make sure you're in, you're in focus. Um, the uh, next is the dials. Uh, now it's a real dial image. Uh, so um, I added a real dial image as opposed to where I had a, a digital, digitally generated image. Uh, I also made some fixes in band changes. Um, sometimes you would you would make a, an override change in your transmit bandwidth, and you would change bands, come back, and it wouldn't go back to the proper band, and that's now cured. The biggest change of all, though, is uh, and now you now have the ability to change the proportions of the waterfall versus the pan adapter. So let me turn this off just so we can make it easier to see. So right now I'm in the 80-20, but even and I added this feature so it gives you 80% uh, pan adapter, 20% water, and then you've got your your panafall, which is normally 50-50. You notice it's not 50-50 anymore. And the reason is that uh, you can grab you, you look you look for this little where the cursor changes and now you can grab that hold on to it and then you can pull it down and you can adjust where you want it to be and you notice the spot lines change uh, all the the, the the you know the line length here changed as I as I change the proportion of the screen um, and that in this will actually remember it remembers where you're setting this for both Panafall and the 8020. 
the 80-20 doesn't give you that full, you can't bring it all the way up to the top because it's meant to be, it's meant really to be for the world map. But if you really want to see something down below, then just grab it and you can make it even smaller if you want. And then things move to compensate, like the, the date or the day moves with the, as I pull that down. But also, now if you move over to the edge, you'll see it, the cursor also changed to a hand. And now I can actually, I can move up and down the noise floor to set it where I want it to be. Now you can also go in to display, hit the auto water pan, and then you can adjust the levels here of the water and the, and the pan adapter here with these little sliders here. This, this is to set it so that it automatically will adjust. When you change bands and your antenna has a different noise floor, it'll try to keep it at that height automatically as you change bands. But you can kind of override that and just change it here. The other thing, if you right-click on the AGCT, you're going to get a line on here, and you notice it, the cursor changes to a hand right here. So that allows me, if it's in that hand mode, I can pull it and I can move the AGC on the fly like that and then right click to, to close it. So there's three different features that you can pull and grab and uh, or grab and pull and move around. And that's it.